Hello, this is Jason Glassbach from the University of Utah. I have no disclosures for this talk. For this study, we utilized the Utah Population Database, which is a large database housing uh, upwards of 10 million individuals uh, and pedigree information, which is linked to the electronic medical records. For this study, we uh, identified patients with one of the following five diagnoses and uh, assembled a cohort, which included 38,890 total patients. Uh, we also utilized a age and sex match controls and a 10 to 1 ratio for nearly 400,000 control patients. We constructed Cox proportional hazard models to evaluate the hazard risk of uh, the same diagnosis, risk of aortic dissection, and risk of aortic mortality for first degree, second degree relatives, and first cousins. In terms of the risk of same diagnosis, we observed that bicuspid aortic valve, thoracic aortic aneurysm, and thoracic aortic dissection <clears throat> uh, demonstrated a significantly increased hazard ratio risk of uh, the same diagnosis in uh, especially first degree relatives. There was a relatively modest effect in aortic stenosis and aortic insufficiency. This risk also extended to uh, the risk of aortic dissection in relatives of patients with these diagnoses. Again, the strongest uh, effect was seen in first degree relatives. These risks extended to an increased risk of cumulative uh, aortic mortality in first degree relatives uh, as compared to control patients. Uh, the risk for secondary relatives and first cousins was also present, although uh, smaller in size. This uh, is a, a cumulative, uh, accumulated mortality risk over uh, each decade of life as seen in, in these figures. In conclusion, uh, these results suggest a significant familial risk of aortic disease uh, and bicuspid aortic valve among relatives of uh, patients affected with these diagnoses. This risk further translates into an increase of aortic related mortality. <clears throat> which provides strong evidence for screening the first degree and second degree relatives of patients with bicuspid aortic valve and thoracic aortic disease. Clearly, further uh, targeted genomic studies are warranted to further uh, elucidate the genetic variants that are driving these observations, and our group is actively pursuing these studies, um, and we are quite excited about the potential of uh, this data set to answer some of these questions about the genetic basis of uh, bicuspid aortic valve and thoracic aortic disease. Uh, thank you for the opportunity to present our work. I appreciate your attention.